Hello everyone, I just uh, finished filming the in and out video for April and now I'm just trying to get everything in order here again and uh, start editing and do the rest of the stuff that I have to do today. Let me show you what I have here. So um, this is stuff for a brand deal for the podcast uh, with Sunday Natural. It's not a brand that I collaborate with usually, but Paulina does. And so we both got some things and I'm gonna put that into the kitchen because it's like um, nori flakes, carob, Carob. I have no idea how's that called. I didn't even know this exists. It's like similar to cacao, maybe also kind of sweet to put in like overnight oats and breakfast stuff. And this is some dried berries. I also have no idea how they're called in English. And funny enough, Paulina had another brand deal with, with a tooth, toothpaste and toothbrush brand. And they just gave her like 10 packages of toothpaste. And she doesn't know need that much, so she gave like four to us and some um, chewing gum that's supposed to be good for your teeth. It's all like a sustainable brand and everything. Um, and I think that's like a great thing about brand deals when you actually get more than you need, which is a bit unusual for sustainable brands, but uh, she shared it with us. And we have been sharing our bananas a little bit with our neighbors and with some friends. And I think that's a great, great thing to do. So I'm going to put these things where they belong and then I have more space on my desk again. waiting for my computer to turn on. I recently removed the battery and now like problems are not solved. They're still the same because the battery didn't work anymore. Oh, I just hope I can use it for a few more months. So I talked about Paulina before because we got all of the things from Paulina. Um, she's my co-host in our podcast and we also meet up regularly to take pictures. And so a few days ago we went to take uh, the pictures I'm showing you right now on the screen. I think until now they are uh, posted on Instagram. So you can check them out there and get a discount code for these amazing, beautiful linen pieces. Um, but we took pictures and I did record a little bit, so here's that. Oh.
I'm just coming back from like a neighbor and friend. And last week she introduced me to this organization that helps you save food. So you sign up, you pay like five euros and then you can go twice a week to pick up boxes if you're fast enough to register for like a spot. And she was fast enough, I was not, but she got a lot of stuff. So she gave me half of her stuff. I also brought her um, something last time when I went and she didn't. Um, yeah, but let's unpack together and see what kind of food we saved from the trash. Some strawberries, some bananas, and I do have to say we already have more than enough bananas, so I'm gonna ask another neighbor if he wants some. <sighs> these, how do you call these in English? It's Radieschen in German. They're a bit spicy. Some Greek, pepperoni, or like paprika thing. That's, that's from her fridge, so it's just something they bought and they all don't like. Um, some cheese, my son is mostly gonna eat that. Carrots with green. Apples, apples, more apples. We have enough, more than enough fruit right now, so maybe I'm gonna dry some. Some uh, grapes. More apples, one orange, pear, another paprika. This is like Milchschnitte. It's like just a sweet thing that I actually really don't like. My boyfriend doesn't eat, so my son is going to be lucky because he loves them. Oh, there's another cheese. This is uh, bread, like flat bread that you can fill with something. I usually don't buy these, but I definitely like them, so why not? And more grapes. Oh, but those actually don't look so good. So all of that, you can also kind of see that it's, you, you have to eat that in the next few days, most of it. But these grapes, like usually everything is still absolutely fine to eat, but these grapes, I'm seeing some mold. And I have to see, because I'm definitely not going to eat moldy stuff. But maybe, you know, grapes are individual things, so if I can take away the ones that are molded, but those who have nothing, not even near them, I can still eat those. So let's see. That's it. And maybe this week, now we have enough food again. And this definitely saves us some money, but it also means we have to be kind of flexible and eat what we, what we got. But I think it's interesting. It's a sustainable thing to do. It's a bit thrilling, so... Let's uh, put everything away. Oh, it's so stupid. There's like so much of these. Ugh things around here and I don't think that was the only one. Oh, it was. I was just not able to get rid of it. <sighs> you could actually eat all of this green stuff and make like pesto out of it, but so much of it is already like not good anymore and brown and disgusting. So I'm not gonna eat it. We still have carrot green and other greens in our refrigerator. So I'm just gonna eat these. Now I'm gonna wash them and put them in a bowl and roll into the fridge. I want to bring this to my neighbor, but he's not home. So I'll try again later. And let's take care of the rest here. There's gonna be another trip to the compost today. I already see it. something I wanted to do here and it's actually like a sustainable hack that I've never tried before and my boyfriend started like saving kitchen scraps to make 
um, a broth out of it. And so that's what we're going to do now. see here these are full with like scraps that you can still eat so no mold nothing that is not good but it's just like hard parts and onion skin and stuff that you wouldn't eat but it still can give off a lot of like flavor so we're gonna put it in here cold glasses oh now the sun is coming and it's getting too bright now the sun is going so it's gonna be too dark Okay. Now we have some more space in the freezer again and some more uh, boxes because we kind of run out of boxes because we have so much like um, bananas to freeze right now because they're all ripe and we can't eat them all right now. We need some salt and obviously some water. Let's bring it to boil. I think it's boiling. So this has been cooking for at least half an hour, I think. So let's give it a try. And it's like supposed to um, like lightly boil for up to three hours. Like it does taste good, it does taste like a good broth, but it is a bit, it has a bit of a bitter aftertaste. Maybe it's just because there's some, you know, skins of veggies that you usually don't eat in there. But it's something you can do, I think. And while that's boiling for another two hours, I spontaneously decided to uh, make something else. And I'm gonna make some pumpkin banana bread because we are invited to a birthday party tonight and we have too much pumpkin too much banana and uh the hosts already said that they would like it if we bring something so we bring pumpkin banana bread and also something else that i need to make still but the pumpkin banana bread is very much a last minute decision but uh let's start <laughs> want to admit that this looks a bit funny because it's just like on the very bottom but this is like our bread mold so it's way bigger than you what you would usually use for a cake and this is like double the recipe so we'll see how it turns out and let's clean up I 
have another idea. I'm gonna top my banana pumpkin bread with bananas, but I have to take it out of the oven again. But it will be more beautiful and it will use up two more bananas. I took a shower and washed my hair for the first time since getting a haircut a few days ago. And oh, I really hope that get, helps getting rid of some of the smell of uh, the shampoo that you're using because let's be honest, I hate it. It's just not my type of smell and <sighs> stinking for three days was enough. So we hope it's, it's gone now. Also, I'm wearing the bralette I fixed in my in and out video, so I hope this is gonna work out. I'm now gonna get dressed and then I'm practically ready, but let's be honest, it's a few hours before we leave for the party. And I also, maybe you're wondering, I have a son, right? And so a family member is here to watch him and interesting enough, that's something that hasn't happened in the past four years, I think. So sometimes he spends time with them and sometimes we go out on these weekends but like us asking them for help has been four years. And that makes me think like maybe it's one of the last times ever because it doesn't happen so often. And at some point he's gonna be comfortable staying at home alone. Before I go to the party, I actually managed to snatch um, a spot on this uh, food saving website. So now I'm gonna go and pick up some food. I already kind of know what it will be. And so let's go. So I'm here where I'm supposed to be, but the person distributing the food is not here yet. But I'm sure she's coming soon. It's a few minutes until the time. We'll see. Every car I see, I'm wondering if it's the person bringing the food. I know in a few minutes. So there were five spots for this like food saving event, but only two people came. So me and another person. So now I have a backpack full of vegetable, which I'm happy about because it's all delicious stuff. So we just had dinner and this is a piece of our banana pumpkin bread that we left for my boyfriend, sister and my son. Let's make some space and unpack uh, the saved food. So as you can see, it's a bunch. There's like two kinds of food sharing events. So on one hand, there's the, like the normal one and then there's the additional one. And the additional one usually means that it's just one thing or a few things, but it's less like balanced. So this was an additional one, but I have like 2.5 portions here because as I said, only two people came. 
instead of five people. And so it's just like one, two, three, four, six different things instead of like 10 or 15 different things. But I mean, it's amazing. It's free for me. And I'm sure we're gonna use it or give some to our neighbors. So what we have here is two packages of pok choy, a lot of leek, um, some more, forgot the name, grapes, some more pears, I love pears, a lot of mushrooms and broccoli. to record another episode for the Patreon podcast and I want to talk about being political like as a person on the internet if you if I want to be how to do it my struggles with it so another thing I wanted to say about Patreon is that I made additional tiers so there's now a tier just for support you won't really get anything in return other than all the free content that you can watch on the internet, the podcast, um, the other podcast you can listen to for free. And there's also another tier which will grant you a pair of socks or like a hat or a small knitted piece once a year. And I just thought like the additional options might be good. So you can check it out for the podcast if you want to get like a pair of socks each year or if you just want to support me and yeah let's talk about being political online i think it's such a hard but such an important topic as well it's impossible for me but on the other hand i also think it's the right thing to keep thinking about it to keep trying to get better at being political because on the other I understand like if you're in a situation where you are affected where you would feel better if people take a certain position then it might just really really help if creators um, share a story share a small post or something that makes clear where they're standing what they're supporting but I also still think that most of us have so much to learn and that especially for me trying to be an ally, like in this position where I talk about issues that don't directly affect me, that it's something we have to be really, really careful and intentional with. So I spent the last two days editing the video and I realized it's already really, really long. and. The interesting thing is for that video, I actually had a title in mind and I wanted to talk about a certain topic, but I realized like it's too long already. I'm not going to do that now. And so I think this is where I want to end this video because it's long, as I said. And what I do now, which also fits the topic of this video, is I'm going to go um, harvest some wild garlic. And I'm really curious to see if it's still possible, like if it's not too old yet. So we'll see that now and I hope to see you in my next video or in the video that I'm gonna link you here. Goodbye!